Les from Retired and Living the Dream and today's video is going to be about is it time for a life reset? I've heard so many times on the TV about the great reset whatever that means I've no idea but because of the situation that's been going on now for almost two years and it looks like it's still going on for those people who are entering retirement or about to retire is it time for your great reset? Now I thought about my big reset when I got to 42 and I had a, a big divorce and it cost me a lot of money and I lost a lot of materialistic things and then I discovered Thailand and then I realised in 2002 that there was more to life than mere possessions so I changed my outlook on life. So what we're going to do, we're going to discuss is it time for your big change, your big reset. So I'm going to give this some law wash and we'll go through and I'll just rub it on I think and we'll see where it takes us. Yeah, so here we go washing the bike talking about my great reset. So like I said earlier on I discovered about my reset when I got through a big divorce. I used to have many jobs working four or five jobs sometimes and doing as many hours that God would send to try and get a good lifestyle as I thought was a good lifestyle was to live by earning plenty of money my wife didn't have to work she was at home looking after the kids so I worked many many hours so she didn't have to work and I thought that was that was the dream and as I say we had three houses just going on to my fourth house before we got divorced and so everything in the world was rosy or what I thought was rosy and then the big bombshell came when she said she wanted a divorce so then that meant I was going to lose sort of everything and I've done a couple of videos about my divorce and I lost everything or did I? That's a good video to watch as are all my videos retired and living in the dream it isn't just about living in Thailand it's about many many different things uh, and the change of life that happens when you're retired now I've been retired for 11 years now and I've loved every year and I've got a, a good saying that I always say to people I never want to retire from being retired and it's good I love being retired I can do whatever I want through your working life you never be in this position until you retire is that you've got every day to do whatever you want to do and I love that look at the weather here beautiful sunshine blue skies it's just a great feeling to be retired now for all those people that are going to retire this is what you can do don't be ending up in bars or clubs or chasing chasing, chasing a dream you can actually make your own make your own dream come true and I have I've got to say I'm happy with everything that I've done in life I'm not happy about the divorces and the money I've lost but that changes you as a person because it does because you're different finances different way of looking at things different objectives different goals and when I came to live in Thailand it was a big decision it was a big leap moving halfway across the world and you know you move away from your family and your friends but when you move to another country you make different friends over here and it's a different way of living but it's a good way of living and I so say the lifestyle I've got over here I don't know about the Americans or the Canadians or the Australians I can only talk about me in the UK because that's where I lived all my life and when I retired I went around the world for two years now that was a, a decision that I made in 2000 
and two when I got divorced. I thought to myself, there's more to life than this. So my dream was to travel and experience many, many things and then build a house in France because I bought some land in France. And that was my dream at that time. Travel, build a house in France and then live happily ever after running a jeet or a guest house and um, never happened never happened because where I had me land in in, in uh, France was a beautiful location beautiful views but then once I discovered Thailand and what it had to offer to be honest it beat the socks off France France couldn't offer what I've got here for nowhere. And in 2008, there was the, another little mini financial crash. So the cost of building my house in France went up by 45,000 pounds. So I wasn't gonna pay extra 45,000 pounds to build the same house, just because of the interest and the exchange rates. So then that even made me more discover that I wanted to travel around the world. And then I met this, this girl that I fell in love with, and Chinese girl. And then we went around the world together. Unfortunately, after traveling around for two years, she decided she didn't want to travel around the world anymore. And she wanted to go back to sunny red car in the UK. She wanted to go work back in the coffee shop she was in, live in the same apartment that she was in. In other words, she wanted the same life back before she met me. So she had two, two years traveling around the world, which cost me 45,000 pounds. Not that money was an issue. Then it was like, I don't care. We were going to go back to England and work for two years and put that money back in the bank and that was going to go back towards building our house together. But once she left, it was like, okay, I'm never going to recoup that £45,000 back again, ever. So I just put it to one side and said, hey ho, that's the way it goes. But what I've got, I've got the memories in there. Two years travelling around the world, I've seen some beautiful things and I'll never forget and I loved every minute of it and as I say I'll never forget the places, the experiences, the cultures and what I learned from that two years of travelling was fantastic, I'll never forget it because it opened my eyes. As Thailand opened my eyes in 2002, the experience of going around the world opened my eyes. And I've got to say, probably New Zealand was the, the best as far as that's concerned. For seeing how people live, living in buses, in vans, in mobile homes, with nothing really. And you know, freestyle living. And in New Zealand, you could, we had a motorhome for three months. So we could basically just park where you want and call free camping. And I thought, why isn't the rest of the world like this? Why can't you do this in the rest of the world? Because certainly in America, I've watched many videos about stealth camping and making your mobile home look or your mobile van looks so it looks like a normal van so you don't get pushed onto other locations because such as Walmart or the big DIY stores don't want you staying for free in their uh, car park. Now as I say I met people who lived on buses in New Zealand and I thought I could do that, I could live in a bus. And I had a, a caravan back in the in the UK as Americans call it a trailer and I, I could live in that in fact my boss when I split up one time with one of the girlfriends I moved into the caravan because it was the only place I could move into 
and my boss was concerned that I'd been moving into a caravan and he thought oh I've got to look after his well-being and I appreciate my boss for doing that and looking after me and being thoughtful of me but when he came to my caravan it was like a wow wow I could live in this it was luxury it had everything surround sound system TV on the wall full kitchen five berth it was wonderful and I could have lived the rest of my life in the caravan and traveling travel around Europe which is what I, what I was going to do or another option I was going to have because when you're retired and you've got a bit of a lump sum this is that reset moment this is what you can do you can change your own life you can do whatever you want to do and I've got to say it's the only time you'll have the reset time when you have the money to be able to make your own lifestyle and it's fantastic it really really is being able to have that choice and I'm lucky because I get a, a monthly pension so that money worries I don't have to worry about that and I've got to say since being retired money worries I've never had any money worries since retirement because I know I've got an income that's all I've got there's no way of earning any extra money here in Thailand so I have to live by that amount of money and that's what I do so retirement reset my video is called retirement retired and living the dream and that's what I do I'm retired and I do live the dream I'm lucky I have a lovely wife we gel together and we have many same thoughts and wants and needs and although she's 27 years younger than me we get on very very well together and that makes a difference is when you find somebody to gel with but then I know many people also that aren't married or aren't with a partner here in Thailand they're just live their own lives and do whatever they want to do but being over 50 and being able to retire here in Thailand for me it's the best choice I could have made I think because at the end of the day life is good here I, I, can't, I cannot complain look where I live look at them that's my view out my window I don't live in a street house, I don't live in a condo, we have a nice garden, as I say, we we have a gardener for God's sake, we have a buddy gardener who comes round and cuts all the grass and takes care of all the, takes care of all the garden. When we're away, they come and water all the plants for us, so what more could you ask for, are retired? And having a garden, how much would you pay for a gardener in the UK? Uh, and all for 12,000 baht a month to rent this house that we live in. 12,000 baht a month, which is roughly 300 quid a month. What could you get in the UK for 300 pounds a month? Certainly not a two bedroom detached house in the countryside with lovely views and 10 minutes drive from the beach. So. So this was my big reset and I'm glad I've discovered it and I do my channel and I want to show everybody in the world because at the minute with this situation everybody's fed up, everybody's doesn't care, there's lots of divorces going on, there's lots of upset, there's lots of bad feeling with everything. All I want to say to those people who are near retiring to get out of the rat race come and do it come and live a new life come and find a new life it's easier than you think if you've got a bit of money pension wise or monthly income I've done another video so I'll just have a look at it up there it's living on 50,000 baht a month and also I've done a, another video for 
living here and the cost of living here. Watch that video, you'll be shocked as to how little it is to live here. Now this, what I'm washing now, is it's called a Samlo. It's a motorbike and sidecar. They're everywhere in Thailand, absolutely everywhere. But they're brilliant. It's really, really good. You know, we got this one, uh, we bought this one. The reason why we bought this one is because my wife, after being retired for four years, said she feels she needs to do something. So she opened up a clothes business. And I'm going to do another video about the Thai wife opening a, her own business and setting everything up. So she bought all the business, she bought all the, the clothes, the market stall, everything else. And I just bought the Samla to help her out. But it's one of the best things you could ever buy. If you can't afford the car behind, like what we've got, then buy one of these because it does everything here. It's brilliant. It does all, you can go shopping with it. The amount of stuff that you can carry, carry in it, and you can carry up to four or five people on here, and it manages okay. And it just goes forever. Now, the set away, this motorbike and side guy, second hand, five years old, and it costs 30,000 baht altogether. 28 we paid for it, then a couple of thousand to get it serviced and get the paperwork signed over. So it belongs to my wife. So 30,000 baht. Cheap as chips. And it works very well. Look at it. So this video was about your great reset in retirement. I hope you found it useful. I've rambled on a little bit. I've sort of done it in all in one take without cutting or editing. And so if you've got any questions or you want to know anything, I'm always here. So I'll put my email link below. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. Subscribing would be nice, just helps my channel along. Now my channel talks about everything. Visas, finding a home, keto diet now because I've gone, I've lost 20 kilos whilst I've been here. I've reached that mark where my waist was 44 inches and I thought I had to do another, I had to do something about it. So that was my great reset again, losing some weight. Because I want to live as long as possible in this beautiful land that I live in now, Thailand. I'll talk about electrics because I used to be an electrician in England, how dangerous it is and give you help and tips and guidance. A little bit about solar power. So I cover many things so I think you'll find my channel is a little bit more about general living and not just retirement in Thailand. So again, if you found it helpful, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Subscribe would be nice. So until the next video from Les, retired and living the dream in Thailand. Bye for now.